welcome back. This is Arcade Night, and with Baby Aegon exiled once more, it seems we can start our preparations. Now guys, we need to hand out several fiefs, prepare our garrisons, and evaluate the current war situation, all so that we can assault King's Landing and claim the Iron Throne. So, I want you to sit back on your comfy throne. I want you to grab a golden chalice of your favorite tasty beverage. And let's get ready to play A Clash of Kings. I just want to thank all of you, all you subscribers, for just leaving all these amazing comments in the comment section. It's truly great, and I really do appreciate it. And you know, that's one of the ways to becoming a subscriber knight, like these three gentlemen behind me. But, but guys, the reason I'm bringing this up is because we have an important mission for you. For this coming war against the Lannisters, I need all my bards, all my poets, and all my strategists out there to really help me out in this episode. And I'm going to tell you why. So let me head into the castle because we've got so much to do in this episode. But guys, what I need from you is, especially my bards and poets, I need you to come up with some amazing house words for House Bright Flame because we don't have any. And you know... House Stark has, winter is coming. The uh, Greyjoys have, we do not sow. The Lannisters have, hear me roar. Targaryens, fire and blood. So what would be really great house words for House Bright Flame as we charge in and assault King's Landing? And my strategists, well, we're going to talk about what I need from you because we need to devise a brilliant war plan to attack the Lannisters because they are extremely powerful. But let, let's let's discuss what we need to do today. Now, I have a couple of lords here. I've got uh, the Tattered Prince, which I'm probably going to give you a village. Just one village on the border, so you can kind of be a buffer against when we go to war against the Lannisters. And, and then you, Robin Flint, I'm going to reward you probably with Rain House, maybe more. We're going to have to see. And then I have a few other people in here that I, I don't want to talk to. Um, so let's go ahead and, and get to that. Let's start handing out some fiefs before we go any further because we need to prepare all these new conquered lands um, to make sure that the garrisons are built up before we go to war. So I think we picked up what Mistwood and Greenstone, Rainhouse, as well as Evenfall Hall. So that's quite a few. That's quite a few. That's one. Oh, and Weeping Town. We need to give Weeping Town back to someone. Hmm. So let's see. Who has Stonehelm currently? Lord Lorch. Now, he didn't really help out much. I don't remember him doing much. Hmm. I don't want to give him more. I'll tell you what. Giving him Weeping Town would seem foolish. Who who has Prawn Bay? Now, I have Prawn Bay. Hmm. All right. So, I know I'm going to give Robin Flint Rain House. I'd hate to give him anything further south. It's so out there on its own. Maybe I'll give him Rain House and Weeping Town. Is that too much? Is that too much? I don't have many lords. I was also thinking about uh, giving Titus Harper some other lands because he's kind of, I think he's all, all the way in Claw Isle, if I'm not mistaken. So let's check this out really quickly. So first of all, I was thinking about Titus Harper. Yeah, he's got Claw Isle. He's kind of all the way out there, not in the middle of the action. So I could give him some of these new lands, maybe Mistwood and Weeping Town because he's been with me for quite a while. Bitness of Hollow Hill has high tide. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I could give him more, too. Or maybe we can do a trade. Maybe we can do a trade. That could be a possibility. See if I can do that. Um, Roger Osprey has got Crow's Nest. He's got his hands full with that. Taros has Bronze Gate. Probably has his hands full with that, it's too. Behringer Parag. He He's going to be really involved in the coming war with the Lannisters, so I don't want to give him anything too far south. Um, we talked about Titus Harper. Robin Flint, I'm going to give you plenty. Tattered Prince, I'm I'm worried about him. I think I may just give him a village. I don't want to give him some something too much. You just have Stonehelm and Slain. I don't know. You didn't help out very much in that last war. And Buckwell. Buckwell's got Griffin's Roost. As your, your hands are full as well. So I don't have a lot of lords. And I don't have a ton of companions that aren't currently doing anything. I guess I could give you some lands. But you're riding a donkey, so that doesn't make me feel very good about you. You know what? While we're here, let's go ahead and upgrade Darren. My brother, Darren. How are you doing today, good sir? You're doing pretty good, in fact. It looks like 
99 morale, I like to see that. Let's let's talk about your skills, because you have just upgraded. Hmm. So what shall we do? Um, well, if we give you more strength, we can give you more iron flesh and power strike. That would be pretty potent. Riding's at six. You're doing good. Your trainer's pretty good. Persuasion's at two. Leadership at three. What if we give you more intelligence? It doesn't really help out right now. That doesn't... How about agility? Not really either. Let's just give you some more strength. And, um, hmm. Let's give you some more iron flesh. I think that's going to work out well. And, uh, let's give you more two-handed weapon. So you can, uh, wield Coldbringer a little bit better. Let's just check out your equipment. It's been a while since we looked at you. Coldbringer, there it is. 49 swing. Speed rating 70. Not too bad. The reach is pretty nice. 95, in fact. That's better than, uh, the reach on this sword. And, uh, nice shield. You got an arming sword just in case you need it. And, uh, I have yet to give you a lance. Your horse is okay. We need to get, get you a better horse, in fact. Do we have something better? Let's see. Armor 15. This is armor 16. Charge of 28. Oh, that has a much better charge. How about this one? No, that's not very good. Nope. Oh, he can ride this, actually. Yeah, that's got... Be that's much better. Yeah. Oh, why, why didn't I give you that? There you go. There's a much better horse for you. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Very good. Very good. Um, let's check out Rainey's, my younger sister. Where is she? Where did you go? There you are. I just want to make sure I, I, I've given you the best horse possible as well. So let's see. I think your riding's better than that, right? Let's let's give it a little check. Can you... Yeah, you can ride something of riding four. So let's see. This has much better armor. The speed is 44. That's much faster. Actually, the speed is... Yeah, I like that too since you're you're carrying the bow now. That's much better. Okay, so... I feel good about that. I feel good about that. Let me go ahead and put my helmet on. And by the way, guys, I've been enjoying this nice jar of Arbor wine. I switched over um, from what I was drinking last time. This is more of a a peacetime beverage. Those other were, were war beverages. Mm -hmm. Reminding me too, guys, we need to pick up some food while we're here. Okay, the last thing I want to do is upgrade Sir Jury Redwater. Um, one of my subscriber knights, sir, you deserve a good upgrade. You have fought so well, and I've just been upgrading his, his strength, I think, as much as I can. Give him a little bit more strength. His health would be at 62 max, and then we could take that point, and either his athletics are as high as it can go. You know, I think that's the best thing. More strength, and how about some more trainer? That's always a good thing to have. And, um, hmm, 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 hmm. How about more one-handed weapons? Because, you know, you need a better one-handed weapon skill c for the coming sieges. And I believe you definitely have a nice sword. There you go. That's a very nice sword. That's actually a better sword than mine. Wow, that's a really nice sword. Well, you deserve it, good sir. Very nice sword. Okay, so... I think, you know, now that I'm seeing this, maybe Baylor needs to get a better sword before we go into uh, these coming battles. Now, I know you guys are telling me, go up to the wall. You can get this sword up there at the wall. Guys, I know. I, I, the king is aware, but uh, the king is busy. The king's busy trying to claim the Iron Throne. Once we get the throne, then we can start putting our eyes northern, if you know what I mean. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. Let's go inside the castle. And let's hand out some fiefs. So, guys, I need to get a, a beautiful sword today. A sword worthy of a king. Because my subscriber knights have better swords than I do. And then um, we need to give some of these lands out. So, so here's what I'm going to do. First of all, let's grant, because he, he deserves it, Rain House to Robin Flint. There we go. All right. So the Tattered Prince is pretty pissed. I understand. Um, I'm going to give the Tattered Prince something. I want to give... Let's see. One of my vassals a thief. I want to give him... Hmm. How about... I think King's Way is good. Because it's kind of out there on the front lines, right? And Edgar Buckwell doesn't like that very much. Alright, so I have plenty of fiefs to hand out. But what I'm going to do is... I'm going to go talk to a few of those, those lords around High Tide. Um, and see if we can maybe exchange some of those fiefs. 
and uh, move them down south and uh, I'll try to protect the islands um, but uh, guys I think that's what we're gonna do so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head out I'm gonna get my army prepared for of course guys when we travel the lands we want to get the, the the men in there that we want to train up I'm gonna get those men prepared we're gonna head out try to find some of these lords try to find a new sword and then we're gonna talk about what I need all you subscriber strategists out there what counsel I need for you when we go ahead and we try to assault King's Landing and take on the Lannisters. So guys, I'm going to see you in a second. I found Sir Titus Harper, but first of all, I want to show you what's going on. Um, I've grabbed all the knights that aren't heavy knights. I think I got uh, maybe about 30, 40, 50 heavy knights in the garrison uh, in Dragonstone. I picked up all the mounted troops I could get to upgrade them to knights and trying to get these knights into heavy knights. I'd like to get as many heavy knights as I possibly could get before we start fighting the Lannisters. And then also, any other men that I needed upgrading, uh, I've grabbed here. I have over 100 elite longbowmen, so I'm pretty good there. I'm pretty good there. It's mainly infantry and cavalry that, that I need to upgrade. But, so Titus Harper, we need to talk. And it, what I want to tell you guys is, as I went ahead and I, I gave... Uh, King Baylor, Weeping Town, Mistwood, Greenstone, and Evenfall Hall, as well as a few villages. I think Prawn Bay and Sapphire Bay, just as I, so I can use them as bargaining chips when I talk to some of these lords at High Tide and Claw Isle. Because I need to kind of move them down south, and I need some bargaining chips. So Titus Harper, let's see, let's see. You've been with me for a while. I think you were one of the first. To, to get a, a thief. Now, you haven't been around much. But uh, how about I offer you maybe Weeping Town and Prawn Bay? Let's do that. Let's let's do that. For Claw Isle, yeah. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good deal. So let's see if I can catch you first. Uh-huh. Yes. Um, I'd like to ask you something. Let's see. Exchanging some thieves. Yep, Claw Isle. I'll give you a Weeping Town. Uh-huh. Let's settle then. That's all we had to do. And I can always give him um, Prawn Bay later. So I think I think for now that's good. He needs to go reinforce Weeping Town. So I should have Claw Isle now. I do. I do. And it's got 117 men. So we'll probably have to reinforce that. Now let's see if we can find the Lord of High Tide. Oh, he's happy. He's so happy. Wow, he got an upgrade. All right, Venice of Hollow Hill. Venice. I think I have plans for high tide anyway. Um, so so let's talk about this. Are you here? No. Hmm. That would have been prudent. Uh, Titus. Sir, Sir Titus. Can I talk to you, good sir? Do you know where he is? No. Uh, all right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and search for this other lord, guys. And uh, when I find him, I'm going to cut right back and see if we can exchange some feats down south for high tide. I cannot find Sir Bennis anywhere, and I've asked a couple of lords, and they, they don't seem to know where he is either, but as you can see, I need to get to Maiden Pool and get some food. Dragonstone is completely out, and um, I know, I know, I, I can go down to Duskendale and get some bread, but I'm, I'm just going to grab a little bit of food here to tide me over. Yeah, just uh, one piece of bread and one piece of cabbage, and then I'll go down and I'll pick up the rest of the food. But uh, also, this lets me check out Maiden Pool. We've got 237 men in the garrison. I may need to reinforce that as well. I'm going to send one group of reinforcements to Maidenpool soon and probably going to have to do the same for Duskendale. I'm going to have to check the antlers out. I may I may help out Lord Perrin to reinforce that. Independent faction has ceased to exist. Who is that, I wonder? Alright, so we have 378. Oh, look! There, House Targaryen's done, guys. Pentos, Westerlands, the North. Only one went to the Westerlands. I didn't see any go to House Bright Flame. Because I think that means House Targaryen is done. I raise my glass to this war and to baby Aegon being exiled over to Essos. Hmm. I only wish I could have captured him and he could spend the rest of his days in my dungeons, but that's not going to happen. But Duskendale's looking pretty good. 378. I don't think I need to reinforce Duskendale. I don't think so. I'm going to go to my mill really quickly, though. Let's grab all the bread here. I'm sure they have tons of bread. Master Miller, give me that bread. Check the inventory. Oh, yeah, look at all that bread. Look at all that bread. 
Let's grab it all. Let's grab it all. Yeah, I'm in a hungry. Thank you, good sir. All right, so make sure we go to the tavern. There's nothing in here at call, huh? Hmm. He is expensive, but he would be pretty drollo, maybe. I wish there was a more noble person. How, how much are you, good sir? How much are you? Yes. He's good, though. He's pretty good. He's pretty good. I just, I just don't know. Just don't know. Let's see how much money I have. I could probably afford him. 28. I can go back and get some more gold. Some more gold dragons. I could surely use him in the coming siege, couldn't I? Hmm. I could surely use him in the coming siege. Okay, good sir. Are you ready for this? Are, are you ready to siege King's Landing with us? Look at all my... I don't think they trust him. I don't think they trust him. Um, I know. He's, he's more like a mercenary for hire, but I, I think we need all the good men we can get. Ah, oh, it's probably for the best. Maybe, maybe some time down the road we'll talk. Yep, you know, just not meant to be with Call. Not meant to be. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna grab some more mounted sergeants because we need to upgrade all the ones we can. All right, so here, here, here we go, guys. Let's check the antlers. But what we need to discuss is the war plans when we try to assault King's Landing. And are we gonna assault King's Landing? Oh, he needs some help too. Yep, so I'm gonna make a note. Antlers... As well as uh, Maidenpool. They both need reinforcements. Yep. Perfect. Okay, so well, let's take a look at the map. We've done a good job. We have Maidenpool all the way down to Weeping Town. We're pretty good. We've got most of the east coast of uh, Westeros. So we, we can look at it several different ways. We can go directly at King's Landing... You know, attack a, Lann a small Lannister force, surprise them, then go and take King's Landing. Try to take King's Landing. Or we could try to weaken them by hitting S Stokeworth, Heron Hall, Lord Howard's Way Town. And, you know, and I, I checked them. Let's go ahead and, and check out Stokeworth. Stokeworth. I think the garrison's pretty small, under 200 men. But I'm leaning towards the surprise approach. I really am. I'm leaning towards attacking a small Lannister force or a sizable Lannister force to kind of weaken them in this area. And then her, you know, quickly run over to King's Landing and siege it because I don't believe it needs siege towers, just ladders. I think that may be the best option. Um, if we go to Harrenhal, I, I don't think the garrison is, is that large either. But you guys could maybe... Change my mind if you have a good reason for me to attack these lands first. Attack Heron Hall. But there are a lot of Lannister lands that you'd have to attack first. There's Heron Hall with 150. I think the dairy has about the same as well as uh, this particular town. Um, so there's one, two, three, four, five if you think about it. Lands on this side of the Blackwater Rush in the God's Eye that you would have to secure. Potentially after King's Landing or before King's Landing. I, I just don't feel that you can attack all these castles and then expect to take King's Landing. I think you've got to take a surprise attack, take King's Landing, and then kind of build your way out from there. Maybe try to sue for peace after you take King's Landing. Kind of secure yourself and then attack again and try to expand out from there. Now, I'm worried about Tumbleton. This is definitely on the front lines as well as Fellwood if they choose to come from the south, but I feel that we've got some protection for the Reach. I feel that these lands may be, may be more protected than I feel. So, is this the real problem area, which is all King Baylor's lands? Duskadale, Maidenpool. All we have is a Lord Perrin with the Antlers and Rook's Rest. Hmm. Who's got Plowman's Hill? I think I gave this out as well. Yep. Lord Perrin. Lord Perrin. I think this belongs to... Oh, Baylor. Now, I could give one of my lords this. That would separate him out too much. So, a lot to consider. So, guys, this is what I need your help with. Strategist, 
Let's talk in the comments section. Let's devise an amazing plan for attacking King's Landing. Uh, let's take a look at the garrison of King's Landing before we start making any huge decisions. Oh, another independent faction. Who are these men? And after we look at King's Landing, we're going to have to check out the war down south. Mm, call off the hunt. Just not in the mood for it right now. Okay, looks like the North is fine. That's good news. That is really good news, even though the North is losing. Oh, that's Rob Stark, too. And there's Tywin. Wow, his army is not that big. His army is not that big. Now, Rob is dead. Right outside of King's Landing. He's done. But, hmm. Interesting. I thought Tywin would have a much bigger army than that, but he must be fighting hard down south. Let's, let's see what's going on. King's Landing has 771 men. And Lord Rosby is there with 71 men. Um, let's see what's going on. This is new. I think the Reach has taken Kingsgrave from Dorne, which is, you know, thanks to us, we basically ended that Targaryen war they had so they can concentrate a little bit down south. Now let's see what else. Oh, Golden Grove. Now I will tell you guys, Golden Grove for a moment was held by the Stormlands right before I started recording, but it looks like the Lannisters have gotten it back. So maybe that's what Tywin was doing. He got back Golden Grove, so they've kind of pushed pushed back a little bit. I wonder if the Reach is going to try to go after Golden Grove. That'd be perfect. That'd be perfect. I'm really looking for this perfect opportunity where Tywin is distracted with some sort of siege or some major battle over here, far in the west, while we take King's Landing. I think that's our best option. I think I'm just going to watch this as, as King Rob goes down. Oh, yep, there it is. There's the death blow coming in. There's the death blow. And there it is. He was taken prisoner. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Not looking good. Not looking good at all. Oh my goodness. Alright, well. We definitely know what's going on there. Alright, so here's what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to do a little bit more recruiting. A little bit more upgrading. And then I'm, of course, going to find a few more of those lords. What I want to make sure I do is I hand out all the fiefs I can. Get the kingdom ready to go. So uh, my lords can upgrade their garrisons. Build the biggest armies possible. So when I call my banners, we have a mighty force indeed to attack King's Landing or whatever great strategy we all come up with in the comments section. So guys, um, I'm going to cut away and uh, once I'm ready, I'm going to cut right back. So I'm going to see you guys in a second. I just want you guys to see how weak Tywin is right now. 231 men. <sighs> he doesn't have that many knights. But you know what? I'm just not prepared. I have a, an army that I'm training all my men aren't ready. My banners aren't ready. My lands aren't ready. If I'd attack Tywin right now, I don't know if we could survive. I just don't know if we can survive. If I was ready at this exact moment, I could take Tywin out, call my banner, siege King's Landing. They did, wouldn't even know what hit them. Mm. Boy, boy, boy. I wonder. I wonder. Look who I found. I found Sir Bennis of Hollow Hill so we can start exchanging some thieves. Let's see what's going on here. It looks like there's some serious battling going on, guys. I think we need to make this play for King's Landing pretty soon. All right, so here's what I want to do. Um, I want to ask you something. And uh, yeah, let's exchange some thieves. I want High Tide. And so I'm thinking about giving him... How about Evenfall Hall? One island for another? Or as I like to call it, Dragonfall Hall? How would you like that, good sir? Hmm. 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 Okay. Let's try something else. High Tide for... Is Greenstone? Is Greenstone better? Ah, he likes Greenstone. Alright. Alright. Here you are. 2,000 gold coins. Um, but you know what? Let's, um, let's look at your skills. Make sure you're set. Ah, oh, you've got one more. Can we get you a little bit more leadership? Yep, carry a bigger army. Two more one-handed weapon. 
Very good. Who, who do you think should get that fee? You, of course, you support yourself. Um, I'm, I may give you some more. Now, now that you have Greenstone, I think it's probably prudent uh, that I give you Estermont as well. That'll probably work out well. And then um, make sure... Who do I give Amberly to? I need to give Amberly, of course, to Robin Flint. And then uh, what else do I need to do? The other thing I need to do is give Prawn Bay to... I think Titus Harper. That's right. That's right. All right, guys. So I've got a lot to do. So I'm going to go into Dragonstone, guys. And I'm going to start preparing for all of this. And then, uh, guys, when I'm ready, I'm going to cut right back. So I'll see you guys in a second. Rainies, you have a terrible bow. Damage 18. That's it. Accuracy 70. Uh, that's terrible. What's your, what's your power draw? What is your power draw? You have a power draw of four. Okay, so we can give you we can give you a much better bow. So I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna look for a much better bow while I'm looking for a much better sword. And I just wanna check it into Ashford. Let's go to the tavern. Anything good here? One companion carver. Hmm. I don't think so. Go to the marketplace. Check out the arms. Tempered great sword. It's two-handed, though. Oh. Wow. Okay, so 34 swing plus 5. So that's 39, and the thrust is outrageous. Speed rating is 101 plus, plus 1. So 102 with a weapon reach of 94. It's got a better weapon reach, which I like. The speed is a little bit slower, but it, it hits like a brick. I think I'm going to do that. And it's, it's not that bad. It's only 8,000. That's great. Um... That's a much better bow than she's carrying right now. It's a bit decorated longbow. She could definitely wield it. It's not that bad either. I'm just going to go ahead and get that for her right now. Yep. Oh, that's that's pretty good. All right. I feel I feel pretty good about that. Uh, any good um, horses here? No. Nothing great. I want a really heavily armored horse, and I can't seem to find any any good armor here. Nope. Nope. I'm doing pretty good. All right, all right, guys. We're, we're heading back out. Oh, not before I recruit a few more mounted troops. All right, now we're good, guys. I'm going to see you in a second. I have sent men to reinforce the garrison at Maidenpool. And when a little bit more time passes, I'm going to send some more men to the Antlers so that that war front will be secure. Also, guys, I have handed out a ton of fiefs. Send my lords back to their lands so they can prosper and get their men ready for the coming war against the Lannisters based on you guys' counsel in the comment section. So guys, don't forget, this is your opportunity. Go ahead and leave those suggestions in the comment section on how we should take this war to the Lannisters. Also, don't forget, I need my bards. I need my poets to give House Bright Flame some mighty words as we charge into battle against the Lannisters. Guys, I want to thank you for joining me. I had an amazing time in this episode, and you subscribers are just amazing and just brightened up my day every single day. Guys, if you enjoyed this episode, make sure to go ahead and hit that like button. It's by far the best and easiest way to help this channel grow. Also, if you're not a subscriber yet, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Guys, I'm going to see you next time as we take on the Lannisters, and possibly Siege King's Landing on A Clash of Kings. I'll see you guys next time.